Haley and Isaac here. Say hello. Hi. Just getting a little fishing in for the day. We were out here yesterday on the Mississippi and Isaac caught a northern pike. How big would you say? Like a pound, pound and a half. Pound. And I caught a northern today. That was probably two pounds. Mm -hmm. Two and a half. It's just a beautiful day. What do you have to say to the people? I don't have crap. Hmm. He doesn't have much to say today. Well, we'll I'm keep you. To catch smallmouth bass, but I don't know. We don't know what we're doing. We saw a dead one, so we know they're around. So it's, yeah, they're close. That's what we're doing. They're close. We're just not close enough quite yet, ladies and gentlemen. We'll keep you updated how things go. Stay tuned. We're just gonna do a little bit of Q and A today. Ask Isaac a few questions. So, hi. So, how was your day fishing today? Uh, it was all right. We got out here and we uh, Haley landed a nice northern. Um, don't really know what we're doing. Trying to catch some smallmouth in the Mississippi. This is the second location we tried going up and down the bank. I think it was just a little too shallow. We couldn't really get deep enough. We don't have waders, so nothing here. But. Uh, it's fun to get out. Beautiful day. Can't ask for much more. Nice. So, what have you and Haley been doing to keep busy during COVID? We have been lifting weights. Yeah. Woo! Because it keeps us sane. Mm-hmm. Um, getting outside. Mm-hmm. And uh, trying to hang out with people that are willing to hang out. Have you had success with that? Not much, but a little bit. Why do you think that is? Because I think people are scared. Mm. And uh, which maybe there's a little, warrants a little bit, but I think people are being soft, honestly. Yeah. But uh, it, hey, you know, it's not me to judge, but yeah, the outdoors and lifting weights and pushing yourself. Besides that, not a whole lot. Are you looking forward to 2021? Yeah, 2020 was a great year. You know, Why everyone, so? Everyone wants to rip on 2020, and I get it, but I got married. Woo! We got married, so that was great. Had a blast celebrating that with people that were able to come. Mm -hmm. um, went to Alaska, wow. saw some bears, saw some moose, Colorado. What'd you do in Alaska? We went halibut fishing and salmon fishing. We should post some of those we pictures should. and videos. Yeah, we should. Um, went hiking, uh, saw some bears, and then, yeah, it was kind of what we did in Alaska. Then we went to Colorado as well, did a bunch of mountain biking. Way more than we should, <laughs> way more intense than we should have done. <laughs> we didn't know what we were doing, and we crashed multiple times. Um, but but did you awesome. finish? We finished it, though. Woo! Quads cramping and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, did a little fly fishing out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yeah, it's been a fun year. Did some mule deer hunting in Wyoming with dad. Mm -hmm. it was very fun. It was a blast. Um, and then did you get a deer? I did. I got a nice, little, nice five by five muley on public land, which was gonna be one of the best memories I think of my life. Just me and my dad on out there alone. It was amazing. Um, and we, uh, so yeah, that was great. And on, on top of that, finished up the year with the strongman competition. That was a blast. Had to train in Wisconsin because the gyms were closed, but we made it work and we drove there every night and was happy with how I did against some strong guys. So those videos will be coming later. But uh, yeah, it was a great year. Um, it's a choice though. It was a choice to have a good year. Mm -hmm. It was a decision to enjoy the outdoors and to focus on weight training and uh, meet with the people that were willing to meet. And because of that, I, it's one of the best years of my life. Obviously, getting married was the cherry on top, but even without that, I still think it was a, it was a good year. I'm thankful to God for keeping us healthy. Yeah, amen. Hi hey guys. We're back. So let me. Hmm. 
<laughs> Let me tell you what my lovely husband mm. did today, this morning. So we were heading out, going fishing this morning, and he was really hungry, so we decided to stop at McDonald's. He decided to stop at McDonald's. So he gets two breakfast burritos and yeah. decides to get a packet of hot sauce, and he's eating these burritos and he's driving at the same time, which, that's fine. But the hot sauce decides to go everywhere. So it was on the seatbelt, the chair, mm. the wheel, the handle of the door, just about everything. Oh. So I thought he cleaned it up. So long story short, he gets out, he's going fishing. I have to move the car. So I'm moving the car, I get back in. And as you see, I have white overalls on and I look down and there is hot sauce everywhere how is that even possible there was like hardly any spill no there wasn't it must have been all over the seatbelt. i'm not making this up so is anyone else husband are they super messy or is it just mine <laughs> we love you love you tell me it's not just mine let me know below guys